Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Now that we've talked a little bit about where the universe came from, it seems like a good time to discuss properties. Properties are traits that a thing has, and they're how you can determine the difference between one thing and another. For example, you can determine that a rock is different from a pillow because it has the property of hardness. Everything has properties like these. So the first place to start, if we're trying to figure out about the universe, is to determine what its properties are. What is it about the universe that makes it possible to identify it? Well, we've already identified a few of them. It's not eternal, nor is it self-sufficient, and we can determine a few more about the universe by just considering the definition of the word. The term universe refers to all existing matter and space considered as a whole. In other words, all of physical reality as we know it. Because the universe is not eternal, we can also conclude that linear time is also part of the physical universe. These are the most obvious properties of the universe. It represents the extent of linear time, physical space, and the matter contained in them. However, the universe has other properties as well. Astronomy tells us, for example, that most of the universe is composed of empty space, and physics tells us a few things about the various forces that make up the universe. We know, for example, that the primary forces at work in the universe as a whole are the strong force, the weak force, electromagnetism, and gravity. Each of these is necessary and important, and all four interact with one another, creating at every turn the perfect environment for organized energy to become matter. What's really amazing about this is that if even one of these basic forces were even the slightest bit weaker or stronger, even the most simple molecules wouldn't be able to form, and it would be impossible for any physical matter, much less intelligent life, to really exist. So we know these things about the universe. The universe is all of time, space, matter, and is incredibly precise in its ability to support amazingly complex things, not the least of which are human beings. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.